What's up everybody, Andy Man for Hire here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a massive explosion, uh, a safe one, with only the materials you can find at home. Let's go. All you're going to need is a crazy straw, some shoe polish, a tissue, some scissors, a water bottle, some matches, a styrofoam cup, some cumin seed, three sticks, and a gun. And that is all you need. Let's go. Also, don't forget your safety gloves. It's real safe. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is take your water bottle and your plaster stained cup. And you're just going to break it up into little pieces and just put it in the bottle. And that's basically how you're going to start it off. So let's get going, okay? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your bottle and take your uh, little cup and you're gonna break the cup into little pieces and place them in the cup. Uh, the bottle, I mean, I'm sorry. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you use all of the cup because that's what you're gonna need. So let's get started. So I'm gonna unscrew the bottle like this, super easy. Just gonna start breaking up the cup. So you see how I have all these small little pieces like this. I'm just gonna put them inside the bottle and then I'll show you when we're done. Okay, so I put all the pieces in the bottle and it just looks like this. And uh, now we'll go to the next step. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take your little tissue and uh, just keep it as one full piece. And what you're going to want to do is just place it in the bottle uh, and just like this, uh, just so it stays in there. And try not to break it up, but if you do, it's not really a big deal. So now all you have is this right here, and that's super cool. Then you're going to want to take some of your cumin seed, and uh, all you're going to do is pop the top, just like that. And uh, you're just going to take a little, uh, like a few of them. And just pour it in the uh, in the bottle, and just get like a, a small handful, or a small little bit. As you can see, I only use a little bit, but uh, that's all you're really gonna need, just a small little bit. Now don't use too much, it'll get a little dangerous. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna take your matches and just open them up. Make sure that they are good matches and that they will stay alight. See, you want them to make sure they look like mine. Okay, that's good. So take three of them. Three or four, uh, only uh, just like just three or four will do. You don't need more than three or four. Uh, once you've got three or four, you just want to put a few of them in the bottle, just like so. Uh, but only three or four, okay? Just make sure you don't have any more than three or four. Okay. So once you have three or four matches in the bottle, they should kind of stay on top, but some should go to the bottom. That's what you want. You want to get a good, uh, a real um, displacement and a balance of matches around the bottle. So that's real good. We're almost ready to go. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take your shoe shiner and just make sure your shoes are real shiny and they're not dirty, okay? Okay, so the next step's where it gets a little tricky. What you're going to want to do is take the cap from the bottle, just like this, and uh, take your crazy straw, and you're going to want to cut a little hole in the top of this, or on the side, so you can fit your crazy straw through and still close the top. Now this can be a little tricky. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little hole. It's basically like cutting a pizza, if you ever cut a pizza. Okay, so as you can clearly see, it's going to be good enough to put my crazy straw through it. So what you're going to want to do is screw the cap back on the bottle. So now I have this right like that. So I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to take my crazy straw and stick it in. Now this is the most important part of the whole phase, because this is what you're left with, okay? And this is really going to, if you don't have the straw, you're going to have a real hard time because none of the smoke is going to be able to come out. So what you're going to want to do is uh, basically, the, well now you're done actually, uh, what you're going to want to do is go outside and set up some safety precautions. I will meet you there. Okay, so once you've got your bomb completed, you're going to come outside 
And you know the sticks I was telling you about? Okay, you need three big sticks, uh, just about the, as tall as you are, tell by my shadow. So just about as tall as me. And you're gonna wanna place them in a triangular formation, okay? Um, this is gonna be the epicenter of the explosion. And uh, the sticks tell everybody who's around you that there's gonna be a boom and they shouldn't come inside the sticks, okay? So once you got your sticks light out, um, I, you're gonna get your bomb and you gotta place it inside. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so basically you're just gonna point your bomb inside so it's uh, standing up. It doesn't have to be standing up if you don't want to be. Uh, it just makes it look, you know, makes it look a lot cooler. But if the bomb falls over, it's not the end of the world. Just relax, calm down, and just you know, keep keep calm, okay? Because if you get if you get excited uh, around a bomb, bad things can happen, and everybody knows that. So once you get your bomb placed, uh, we will move on to the next step, which I will show you in just a second. Okay. So once you got your bomb. Uh, placed in the ground. Oh, I just fell over, but that's okay. I'm keeping cool. Once you get your bomb placed in the ground, make sure you put your safety uh, gloves on. Because if you don't, bad thing is going to happen to you and your hands. Okay? So, what you're going to want to do is take your goon, and you're going to want to fire off a few warning shots to let everybody around you know that a bomb is about to go off and to not get um, scared by the sound that they will hear. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You may want to cover your ears. I know I will. Okay, so I fired off three shots into the air. Now, I've got my matches here, right here. Uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix matches. And what I'm going to do is just take one out of the box. Okay, just take one. And I'm gonna go get started on the uh, lighting off the, the boom, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so I got one match right here. I'm gonna light it. And basically what you're gonna wanna do is just light the match, and you're gonna wanna go and drop it inside the boat hole. And then you're gonna wanna run away real fast because bad things are gonna happen and you, uh, you don't wanna be in there when that happens because really it's a bad time and um, this is a crazy bomb, guys. So you, as you can see, the bomb's right behind me, right here, in this little circle. So I'm gonna go and light the bow, and um, I'm gonna run away, and I will show you what happens, and it's gonna be extraordinary, I swear to God. So let's go. Um, hope you enjoy, and hope you try it yourself, because it's an awesome explosion. So let's go. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm Andy Man for Hire. See you next time. Peace. Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, I think I hear a flea siren, so I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. Oh my god. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, Andy Man for Hired here, and thanks for watching the extras part of this video where you actually get to see what's gonna happen here. Honestly, I put a bunch of random stuff in the video uh, or in a bottle, so I'm gonna light it up and I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. I don't think anything's actually gonna happen. But you get to find out because you stayed around. Thank you for subscribing. I'm Andrew Man for Hire. And I'm gonna light this on fire. I dropped that one. It's uh, it's real windy. There you have it guys, nothing happened, thanks for watching, I'm in it for hire.